Direct payments worth $500 per month for one year available to Americans. I will tell you the eligibility criteria in this video. A new batch of relief checks worth up to $1,050 will head out to millions of Americans at the end of the week. Social Security recipients can expect to see their money hit their bank accounts for the month tomorrow. Stimulus checks of November worth up to $3,600 lump sum payment going out to over 9 million Americans in coming days. Hello everyone. Welcome back with another video from Money Pro. This is your fourth stimulus check update and daily news report. I hope you all having a wonderful day. Today I'm announcing a plan to refill the Strategic Petroleum Oil Reserve in the years ahead at a profit for taxpayers. The United States government is going to purchase oil to refill the Strategic Petroleum Reserve when prices fall to $70 a barrel. <clears throat> that means oil companies can invest to ramp up production now. With confidence, they'll be able to sell their oil to us at that price in the future, $70. Refining and refilling the reserve at $70 a barrel is a good price for companies, and it's a good price for the taxpayers, and it's critical to our national security. To put it in context, since March, the average price of oil has been more than $90 a barrel, the highest since 2014. By selling from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve at the higher price of $90 earlier this year and then refilling it in the future at a lower price, around $70, will actually make money for the taxpayers, lower the price of gas, and help bolster production, all while totally consistent with my commitment to accelerate the transition to clean energy. <clears throat> so my message to oil companies is this. You're sitting on record profits. And, you're, and we're giving you more certainty so you can act now to increase oil production now. The third thing I'm doing is I'm calling on oil companies to pass the savings on to consumers. Consider this. In the second quarter of this year, profits at six of the largest producers publicly traded oil companies were more than $70 billion. That's $70 billion in just one quarter, 90 days. 70 billion. So far, American oil companies are using that windfall, the windfall of profits, to buy back their own stock, passing that money on to their shareholders, not to consumers. In fact, in the first half of the year, those same companies spent $20 billion buying back their own stock, and most importantly, buying back a buyback, the, the most significant buyback in the last almost a decade. That's great if you own a lot of stock in an oil company or if you're an executive in an oil company. Puts a lot of money in your pocket. That is how you get paid. But it's not the case for the vast majority of Americans and <clears throat> paying at the pump. Here's another thing. When the cost of oil comes down, we should see the price of the gas station at the pump come down as well. That's how it's supposed to work, but that's not what's happening. In the past two weeks, the price of oil has fallen $4 a barrel. And you think, and thanks in large part to the steps we've taken this year, the price of oil has fallen nearly $40 a barrel since mid-June. That's a 30% drop in the price of a barrel of oil. But guess what? Gas prices haven't fallen that much, and it's not right. Gas prices at the pump should be lower. In fact, if retailers and refiners were earning the average profit they've made over the last 17 years, Americans would be paying at least 60 cents less per gallon for every gallon they buy. Direct payments worth $500 per month for one year available to Americans. I will tell you the eligibility criteria in this video. One of the latest places across the country offering universal basic income is Long Beach, California. Those who are selected to participate will get $500 per month for a year. It is being funded by the Long Beach Recovery Act, which is allocating $1.6 million towards the program. The guaranteed income pilot will provide the payments to those living within the current state. Also, Families with children must live at or below the poverty line. According to a recent release by Mayor Robert Garsh's office, 
The goal is to provide 500 single-parent families the payments. A big deadline just passed to claim $500 monthly direct payments in Cook County, Illinois. Meanwhile, residents of Alexandria, Virginia residents can start applying for $500 monthly payments for two years on Monday, October 31st. A new batch of relief checks worth up to $1,050 will head out to millions of Americans at the end of the week. Currently, California is sending out its first tranche of tax rebates. According to the Franchise Tax Board, payments will be issued phases, which will depend on how you file taxes. For example, if you filed electronically in 2020 and received a state tax refund by direct deposit, you will also receive the middle-class tax refund by the same method. The first group of rebates will be for residents who got the first or second round of the Golden State Stimulus payments via direct deposit. These are going out from October 7th to Tuesday, October 25th. The rest of the direct deposit payments will then go out from Friday, October 28th to November 14th. Also, the state is sending the first set of debit cards starting today, which will go out until December 10th. Social Security recipients can expect to see their money hit their bank accounts for the month tomorrow. The direct payments are worth up to $1,657 and they arrive one of three days, depending on your birthday. Social Security payments go out on the second, third, and fourth Wednesdays of each month. And for people with birthdays landing between 21st to 31st, it will be deposited on the fourth Wednesday of the month, which is tomorrow. Stimulus checks of November worth up to $3,600 lump sum payment going out to over 9 million Americans in coming days. Eligible recipients have until November 15 to finish a simplified tax return and receive their unpaid benefits. In September, Governor Kathy Hochul announced that eligible New Yorkers may grab up to $270 in a new stimulus payment. Officials in New Mexico have confirmed that payments of at least $400 should be issued by the end of November. The relief will be provided to the lowest income earners first. Officials have confirmed that the payments will be sent via direct deposit and in the mail. To qualify for the state's direct payments, New Jersey residents must be 18 or older and not have an annual household income that exceeds $55,000. The New Jersey residents who missed out on stimulus checks may still be able to earn payments of up to $4,000. Specifically, the payments are $2,000 for individuals and $4,000 for families. In other Illinois news, residents who reported less than $200,000 in income on their 2021 taxes are in line to receive a $100 rebate. Couples with earnings of less than $400,000 will receive $100, and filers will get $200 per child under 18 in their household, up to an additional $300. The state is also sending a rebate to homeowners who earned less than $250,000 or $500,000 for couples. Through a partnership with Mayors for a Guaranteed Income Program, Mount Vernon, New York, will send $500 monthly payments to 200 residents for a year. At least 110 residents in Shreveport, Louisiana have started receiving $110,660 monthly payments for a year. Of all the states, Maine shelled out, out the most money to residents with checks going out for amounts between $850 and $1,700. That's the end of today's video. I will see you guys in the next video. If you liked the video, please make sure to subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos.